Hey guys, Justin here. Uh, thank you to everybody that participated in the giveaway that we did last week. Uh, the two winners were Mike and Kyle. Um, we got, went ahead and sent those out to you guys already, so thank you for everybody that sent in the submissions for it. If you weren't sure what the Easter egg was, I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen, right up to my right there. Uh, so let's get into the report. This week, guys, we're going to start out with bluegill and crappie fishing. Uh, the lake has been pretty good for that all year. Uh, seems like the best reports that I have gotten this past week or two have been from the backwaters, the canals, and the marina complexes here on the lake, um, up around Harsons Island, um, over in Wapool, Mitchell's Bay area has been really good as well. And then down around Salfridge um, has been good as well for crappie. So if you're looking for bluegill and crappie, those are the areas that I would probably go and target uh, this week. Next up, this is for you guys looking for yellow perch. Uh, the bite's actually been pretty decent uh, for a summertime bite. We actually had a few walleye customers complain to us about the amount of perch they are catching while trolling uh, for walleye out here in the center of the lake mainly, um, out near, near uh, 2728, St. Clair Light, the Dumping Grounds, Gross Point. Uh, guys are doing pretty good. The average size is pretty decent compared to the last few years. Uh, so if you're looking for perch, those are the areas that I would probably try to focus is your summer locations. Um, but also keep in mind that there is a lot of really good weed beds between three and four miles off of shore from Nine Mile all the way up to Metro Beach. There's a lot of really good cabbage beds that go overlooked. And, and if you get on your graph, you can actually locate them. You might be shocked what you find out there. You might find your own little private honey hole that you have to yourself. For you walleye guys, uh, it's pretty much been a textbook summertime bite for us out here on St. Clair with lots and lots of numbers. Uh, there is some days you're gonna be doing a little sorting. Uh, the size limit is 13 inches out here on Lake St. Clair and you're allowed six per day. Um, guys are mainly pulling harnesses. There's a few guys still pulling cranks. Uh, for the most part guys are pulling inline weights and crawler harnesses. Uh, I would probably if it was me going out tomorrow today, I would probably head out around 27, 28 can and then work my way up and down the channel bank out there on the shipping channel and try to locate some fish there. I know there's some fish going over on, over on the Canadian side in usual areas. Um, if you're not wanting to spend time out on the lake, head on up into the St. Clair River, pulling heavy bottom bouncers, three, three to six ounce bottom bouncers uh, with crawler harnesses downstream. It has been really, really good. Guys are still whipping, guys are still hand lining and jigging up there in the St. Clair River. St. Clair River has probably been not like this and far as I can remember. Uh, so the fishing's been absolutely incredible on the river. So get out there guys, enjoy these sugar sticks that we got in the system right now. For you guys chasing musky, uh, it's been a little bit of a slower start to the season. We have, there's a lot of guys have a lot of theories of why that might be, but what, whatever is the cause, it is what it is. Um, but what we are seeing are some very, very heavy, thick fish um, and some very nice fish. Um, we're seeing fish up to the 55 inch class coming out right now. Uh, I got a picture of one of uh, Spencer's uh, clients um, that he had out the, uh, I think it was Monday or, or early uh, or, or late last week. Um, just caught an absolute fish of a lifetime. Uh, so congrats on that fish there. Uh, so if you're looking for musky guys, you do gotta work for them a little bit. Uh, a couple of the charter captains are doing phenomenal with their program, but they're holding the information tight to the chest. I just know they're doing well. Um, and some other ones are still struggling a little bit. Uh, so bucktails seem to be the name of the game for most guys. Uh, there is some body bait action going on. The casters are struggling a little bit because the fish are a little more scattered uh, this year so far. So good luck on that. Alrighty, what most of you guys that watch this report wait for. Smallmouth bass. The bass fishing this year has been very, very good. Size has been good. Numbers have been pretty good. Uh, overall, I really like the way the lake's fishing. Uh, should be a phenomenal lead event here uh, at the end of summer. So hope everybody gets out to the Metro Park and check that out. Now they got a barbecue and music and all kinds of stuff planned uh, for it. So it's a good good, good day or weekend out with a the family there. Um, but to go out and catch them, it's been a really interesting year. Um, fish are really getting into the summer patterns. Uh, so the, the status quo, deeper water, suspended fish, uh, bell hump, south shore, 
Uh, those areas on the Haney side have been really good. Straight out from Metro in 16 to 20 feet of water has been good along the shipping channel, the dumping grounds up in Anchor Bay continues to be fishing better than it has the last four or five years. Uh, the St. Clair River is starting to produce some fish consistently as well. Um, but one thing that kind of keeps throwing me off is I keep getting a few guys that just have not left the shallows. And I'm, I'm really think because of the water being up so high this year, uh, there's some great opportunities for guys, especially on those windy, windy days, to get out off the main lake and peruse the flats up around Harsons and Dickinsons and Russell and Wapool and locate some giant smallies, you know, in a five and six pound range. Um, and then just find little wolf packs, almost like fishing uh, bonefish or redfish on the on the inshore scene. Um, it's, it's a very similar style of fishing to that. So it's a lot of action all of a sudden and you could be an hour or two before you see another fish. Um, but that's a pretty cool fishery to go up there and do that. I enjoy doing it in, the, in July and August from time to time go up, especially on really windy days where you just don't want to get beat up seeing out in the main lake. Uh, lures and technique wise, uh, it's pretty pretty much same old, same old for us smallmouth guys. Drop shot and tubes are still probably the most popular stuff for the soft plastic guys out deep. Uh, some jerk bait action is, is heating up this summer. Spy baits are always a staple once you've kind of located some fish and you're trying to upgrade uh, throw a spy bait for you guys chasing them up shallow net rigs square bills uh, your shallower deep divers soft plastic jerk baits swim baits um, those are the things I would probably throw up in there and baits like the raid shad um, is one thing that I like to use up in pull up bay to locate uh, little wolf packs of smallies um, and that does really well for me it's kind of like a little, little buzz bait little search bait uh, plus it's a lot of fun to have them blow up on, on the bait. So go out there, give that a try, uh, guys. Good luck. Uh, looks like we're going to have a decent Saturday and Sunday and all next week. Looks like this rain has finally left us, so we have some good weather ahead of us. Out in June. What you Six fish coming up. Nice fish. beauties, man. Oh, nice one. Wow, nice. Real nice fish there. One, two, three, four, five. We got one more there. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Wow. 2118. That's a new leader. New leader. 2118. New leader. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me, it helps the channel, it helps everyone that likes to catch fish.